Hey guys, Sarah from americantrucks.com and today we have a review and install of these smoked projector headlights with LED halos fitting your 2014 and 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500s. These projector headlights feature dual LED halos as well as LED turn signals and include H1 high and low beam bulbs. These headlights feature smoked polycarbonate lenses with black ABS housings. Coming in at around $330, these are a middle of the road option price wise, but they do include everything you need for a plug and play install, including resistors in order to prevent hyper flashing of your turn signals. So if you're looking to change your truck into something with a nice blacked out look, these are an excellent option. I'm giving this install a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It can be done in approximately 30 minutes with basic hand tools, and this is a plug and play install. All right, with that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used a pop clip removal tool, a ratcheting 10 millimeter wrench, an extension, a 10 millimeter socket, seven millimeter socket, ratchets, and an optional but helpful tool includes an impact gun. All right, so the first step in our install is to remove all of the pop clips that are holding in our rad support cover. So let's grab our pop clip removal tool and get these out. Once all your pop clips are out, remove the rad support cover. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the four bolts holding the top of the grill in. Grab your seven millimeter socket, and now we're gonna remove both bolts on each side of the upper painted portion of our bumper. With our bolts out on either side, slowly work this panel out off your truck and out from under the grill. All right, so grab your 10 millimeter with an extension this time, and we're gonna get the four 10 millimeter bolts at the bottom of our grill. With all the bolts removed from our grill, it is still held in with several metal clips. So just grab your grill firmly and pull straight out and it should release themselves. At this point, we can remove the 10 millimeter bolts holding in our headlight. We're gonna start with the one that is just behind the bumper here. You might have a little trouble getting to it, so I recommend using a 10 mil ratcheting wrench. Now we can grab our 10 millimeter and get the rest of the bolts out of our headlight. With the bolts out of our headlight, we can remove it off of our truck. Once you have the headlight almost all the way out, Make sure you also disconnect this connector, pushing down on the black tab and remove it. So before we install our headlight, we do need to plug in the included resistor. Now they've already spliced in connectors for us, so we just need to grab our wires and plug them in. Grabbing your black wire on each side, 
go ahead and plug in the connector. Now this red wire on the resistor side will plug into the yellow wire on the back of your harness. All right, let's install this on our truck. So we do need to mount our resistor somewhere on the truck. I would recommend either on the inside of the fender or a little farther back on the frame. Either way, peel the protective film off of the 3M and stick it in place. Now we can attach our connector. At this point, we can slide our headlight into place. Grab your factory hardware and thread it in. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten this down. Grab your 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench and tighten this one down. Now that we have one of our headlights installed on our truck, we can really see it side by side with our stock headlight, really check out some of the similarities and differences. Now as you can see, they both feature a stack design and our new headlight does also have a projector lens similar to stock, but that's sort of where our similarities end. Our new headlight features a black housing as well as a smoked lens, so if you're going for a blacked out look, this is definitely going to be a step in the right direction. In addition, it also features dual LED halos as well as LED turn signals. With our passenger side headlight installed, let's repeat those steps on the driver side. At this point, we can reattach our grill. Line it up on the top, and then press it into the clips in the center. At this point, we can reinstall the bolts at the bottom of our grill. Ensure it's lined up, and then go ahead and tighten it down. Reinstall the four bolts on the top of your grill.
Now we can reinstall the trim piece at the top of our bumper. Line it up on either side and be sure you go above these small plastic pieces at the bottom of your headlight. Now we can reinstall the screws at the back of each side of our trim piece. At this point, replace your rad support cover and reinstall the pop clips. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of our headlights. Remember, for all things Chevy, keep it at americantrucks.com.